I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? Are they intelligent? Absolutely. Going to revolutionize our whole understanding of where we are in the cosmos and uh, how we relate to other beings that inhabit us with us. At the time of main engine cutoff, in about 30 seconds... Atlantis Houston, your go for ET photo and plus X. What about NASA and the alien bones in the skull? Very good question. In 1974, NASA gave them some materials to analyze. They said this came from behind the Iron Curtain. There was sort of odd, extraordinary uh, memory-type metal that, you know, that couldn't be, couldn't be dented, it couldn't be scratched. So the metal had a, a, a melting point of uh, above 2,000 degrees Celsius. They were never told it was alien. As I said, they were told it came from behind the Iron Curtain. But they were about to discover more in April 1977 at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL. They went down several levels to a top secret vault, which was sealed. They were surprised to see the materials that they'd, they'd examined before, but more impressive was the fact that there was the remains of a skull and a hip bone. There was a label on the case, on this transparent case, which said, from the first and second incidents in New Mexico. He got my mother and myself up. Was, I'd been asleep for several hours, so I have no idea what time it was. But uh, he was excited. He uh, came got us up. He said, I want to show you this. This is something that crashed out there uh, just not too far away from here. And I think, uh, and I believe he used the words flying saucer, but I looked at the floor. There was a lot of this metal foil. I like to breathe some uh, I-beam rods. What do they look like? I've got four discernible colors. Right. I got red, yellow, green, and blue. And the one just was like flashing. So if they're those planets those guys were talking about, then they're uh, planets with Christmas lights on. For example, there were a bunch of attempted intercepts we know that happened in 1952. But we also know of, of cases that have gone right on through the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Jets are fairly regularly, it seems to me, being scrambled to um, vector in on objects that we can only call UFOs. This topic is so big, and it's not hard to see why there would be a cover-up. In fact, it's quite easy to see why there's a cover-up. But when you, when you consider that this is real, pretend that it's all real. So there are other intelligences that are operating some kind of technology that is interacting with our world. And yet all of us go through our lives really not incorporating that into our worldview. I mean, just a little while ago, you're watching the Cowboys on, on TV. And that, uh, you know, there's no UFO reality in that, right? <laughs> When events seem too strange to be true, come to AboveTopSecret.com, the place where nothing is too strange and everything is analyzed. AboveTopSecret.com. Deny ignorance.